Okay, what's going on guys? In my previous video, I have made uh, this code. I have created this code. It's about mouse. If you mou click mouse on a screen, it's gonna do something. Now, we didn't even complete this one fully in my last video. We are gonna continue in this video. We created the object and we typed these things. That's our last thing in my last video. Now here we are going to continue this one furthermore. Now let's go ahead and do that. Here you, you know that I created an object but I didn't create the class for that. Now I'm going to go ahead and create the, create the class for that. Private class and the class name we created is handler class. So I put the same name right here. Handler class implements 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 mouse listener mouse listener okay now mouse motion listener mouse motion listener <coughs> and here public void mouse clicked mouse clicked mouse event 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 and then status bar status bar dot set text string dot format string dot format here what we are doing is we are just creating a mouse interface mouse listener interface okay it's going to be just four types of coding something like that after that we are going to continue this one on my next video here I'm just creating the interface okay just watch me until I finish this it's gonna be just four 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 sentence kind of coding clicked at percentage D and then percentage D percentage D event dot go event event dot get x okay now we are done with this one and uh, we have to close this one one more time okay then uh, we are gonna create everything similar to this we are gonna create like four more of this similar to this one so okay so i co copy this one and paste it three more times now let's fix the error first because I'm going to copy the same thing. Status bar, status bar, set text, and then here this form, this one shouldn't be here. Mm, okay, string dot format that should be here, and then clicked at percentage d percentage d event get x bracket opens bracket close two more times and then close it curly break um, i as i see maybe semicolon right here okay uh, let's continue this one and see if we if we still get the error okay so i copy this one and paste it three more times okay now the second first we cre clicked uh, created the method mm, public void mouse clicked the second one we are going to create mouse pressed let's change this one into pressed pressed and here mouse event status bar dot set text and here i'm going to change this sentence here I'm gonna say you press down the mouse. You okay? Here I didn't do one thing. I didn't finish the quote mark. Maybe that's the wrong. Yeah, that was the error. I didn't finish the quote mark. Okay, here I clicked. This one is clicked at percentage d percentage d. 
here i'm going to say you press down the wrong button you oh you press on the mouse you pressed down the mouse okay and we completed this one and the third one public void mouse released released and here mouse event event status bar dot set text and then here we are going to say you release the button okay and the next thing is mouse entered and here we are going to say you entered the area entered the area okay the last thing is I, I created one more this one is unnecessary I get rid of this and here mouse existed but uh, mouse entered I'm gonna create I'm gonna add one more to that that is mouse panel mouse panel dot set background set background color red color dot red okay and here public void mouse exited and here mouse event event status bar dot set text string mm, this one is unnecessary here we are going to the mouse had left the window the mouse has has um, ha had left the window okay now we have done everything we don't have any errors i have this error still remaining let's let's see what's here okay i have just one error i will fix it in my next video because in the next video i'm going to complete this one and run everything and i will fix it in my next video i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and see you guys on my next video